What is up guys, I'm Awanda Turtle and today we have another Pokemon Masters video. Sorry if I sound a little nasally, I think my allergies are acting up this morning. But uh, so we've gotten 3,000 gems again, so we're going to do another 10 pull. I was considering waiting for the game to come out. There was data mine as a 5 star guarantee banner coming out. But you know, I feel like it's going to be another maybe 20 days since maybe till maybe the game comes out. So I didn't really want to wait that long. But uh, I do want to, so we're going to do a couple things. We're going to do a another 10 summon and we're going to go through this, a tier list to figure out which uh, Pokemon with sync pairs we want to get and we're also gonna hit some Pokemon memes uh, Pokemon master memes I feel like there's some really funny dialogues that I found uh, people posted on reddit and I wasn't sure where to sneak those in so we're gonna sneak those into this video but to start let's go through kind of like what we want and actually that was one of the requests is to do a tier list and I'll kind of go through them in more detail but I feel like it's better if I go through sync pairs that I actually have so that's one reason we're going to do the summon is to try to add more uh, Pokemon to do reviews of and so they broke up so this is a uh, game press GG and you know actually over any tier list there's always some controversy so you know maybe things will change this is V version 0003 <laughs> that was funny all right so the support tier uh, we already got the first one, Rosa and Superior, it's the free 5 star and I think it's really cool that they gave this to you for free and you know, it's tier 1. Tier 1 support, but I am interested in Phoebe and Dusclops. I like the idea of running a tank, running a uh, kind of like a buffer and then running a single DPS. And so there's a Dusclops, Dusclops looks pretty cool and it's uh, featuring Phoebe. And there's a couple moves that really interest me, the first one is Dire Hit All sharply raise the critical hit rate that's perfect for liking rock which definitely my strongest uh, sync pair right now and in my opinion arguably the best uh, sync pair overall then we got unbreakable bonds uh, while this lowers your HP and improves the move gauge and the one I care most about is attack of all allied sync pairs so you know comparing this to Swana like Swana is really good too because it just kind of makes um, your superior a little bit more uh, bulky, but I feel like you know these two really work well with Houndoom. It does have double edge, but I think uh, probably be relying on the DPS sync pair to do all the damage. But it does have that just in case, especially if it is uh, the weakness. So that's what we kind of looking for from the support tier list, and it's going down. So we do have a special attack tier list as well. And let's see, do we have any? So we do have like the Raichu. And basically that's it. So I guess we wouldn't mind getting any of these tier 1s, but the one we want the most is Karen and Houndoom, which I didn't know he turns into Mega Houndoom after using his special ability, special attack. Uh, so let's take a look at him. I feel like this is just a typical DPS, so these guys are actually pretty straightforward. Uh, basically has Dire Hit to increase your crit rate, and Dark Pulse. I do like this, how his secondary attack does have a small chance of inflicting flinch, which is obviously really good. So... I think that that's a very unique thing and then entertain me lowers uses HP uh, and then raises special attack so just more self buffing um, DPS characters in my opinion just pretty simple actually the more simple the better the more complicated they get sometimes they just makes them overall weaker uh, so definitely we wouldn't mind getting that but I don't think it's that necessary we already have Lycan Rock that can clear all the content already uh, the physical tier list uh, alright so yeah there is a According to this one, like Lycan Rock is third, uh, maybe that's very, uh, actually it's super close. So there's other ones that are just uh, potentially just as good, maybe even better, but I don't feel the need to pull those and so we're actually going to skip that for now just for sake of not making the video too long. But then the last one I'm interested in is this Agatha and Gengar, so let's take a look at what this thing provides. Um, so for the tech uh, tier, this is very interesting, put, a, uh, put the target to sleep. And you know, I feel like this is kind of like that disruption um, that can really mess up any any team. I imagine like when it comes to like PvP, like if they ever do PvP, uh, if they ever do team PvP, it's all going to be about like almost like crowd control, CCing your opponent, so re to turn off their DPS and take out their supports, uh, then go from there. And the Shadow Ball is actually pretty cool too, but um, considering it's three costs of three, maybe not. Uh, but it can lower special defense, so maybe that's really good with Houndoom. And then. Radic radically, so there's uh, like just raise it sharply, raise it radically, raise it. <laughs> Imagine radically is the highest one. I could be wrong. Raises the user speed, um, 
So that's that's pretty cool too. You kind of just help you spam attacks, but uh, that was power. But I feel like this is the primary one. It's really interesting to me that I feel like could re could potentially be really abused, and it's just with 75% accuracy. So that's it for our. We're gonna go. We'll go through additional stuff in the tier list, but again, I'd rather go through ones I actually have. And but those are the ones I'll be looking for in the summon. We got Dusclops, Mega Houndoom, or Houndoom and Gengar. And uh, I do want to just hit some some news. So on the uh, Pokemon Masters Reddit, r slash uh, Pokemon Masters, there's a couple like really good posts I thought was really funny. I don't really read all the dialogue, but so there's some real gems out there. So uh, I did figure I'd do it this way just to give credit to the people at least posted it on this Reddit. So DBs are 27. <laughs> this one is so I went from like the one that I, the top three and from the, the one that was like good, better, best. <coughs> so the first one we got the. Uh, Swimmer, the female swimmer, says you seem a bit lonely. I'll let you know on a little secret. Uh, I guess like the running joke is like Nintendo's doing this kind of stuff, and potentially it's like, oh well, if you're playing this game, maybe you, don't have, you maybe you uh, so sort of based on like the comments, like oh maybe you don't have any friends or like you're really lonely or something. So you know, I didn't think it, was, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't that funny in my opinion. I think this one's a little bit better. So it's kind of playing on the idea that all like the trainers, like oh all the male swimmers, they all look the same. So. Uh, from Rare Yamcha, uh, someone's waking up from the Matrix. So how is this possible? I'm the exact same as all the other swimmers. <laughs> I thought that's hilarious. Uh, I'm not sure what the context was, what's before or after, but I thought that was hilarious. You're beginning to believe. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought that was really funny. And this one's probably the best one. I think it was actually posted twice. So then the second one, this is the one I saw first from even NL, but I believe there was one posted earlier. In this and uh, so from Skyla um, well then why don't we have a little bit of fun in? and then the comments are kind of funny as well hold on do you mean and of course and just reading through some of the comments uh, Pokemon turned into a waifu collector actually that's kind of true the fact that they bring in the the trainers I think it does have that effect um, you know you play rice around a tennis Tetris and this game is so self-aware I thought that was hilarious so uh, that's it for the memes uh, it doesn't take that long so I wasn't sure what the vid what's the video to sneak it into but let's get into our 10 so we finally got up to 3,000 gems let's do it all right so we got the game loading up and while we get situated here um, I really want to emphasize a video that we posted during the weekend where it's kind of like you know this game's not a race and if you don't want to get bored with it I really encourage you to take your time going through the content and really enjoy it kind of think about it at the how you play the uh, first Game Boy game that you played whether it's red blue yellow gold silver whatever um, it kind of like you know there's no the internet was much less prominent so I feel like the internet was just used for like guides and stuff less so to like compare how everyone's doing actually I'm sure that happened too but uh, the point is don't rush through the game. To be honest, at this point, I this content is really stale for myself. Occasionally, I'll do some farming, but it's more like I'll do like the super courses for that day, and maybe I'll run some Brock, and then I'll kind of like just stop at that point. So yeah, the game gets the game is already pretty stale. So definitely take your time. I feel like I definitely rushed through the content, and it I did it did detract away from the experience a little bit. So. And all right, that took a while to load. Please try, let's try again. All right, I think we're okay. Uh, so we did manage to get up to 3,200, and um, we can get 30 more by doing exchange for the daily quest. Actually, make sure you always do your daily quest. Make sure you finish all the super courses, especially at least once you get that 30 gems. Make sure you log in every day, uh, just to get to that 3,000 much quicker. And the game appears to have closed. All right, so game crashed a bunch of times there, but seemed to be back up and running, and. Can we connect? All right, I think we get, we're there. Scout points. Let's just see if there's anything. Current scout new scout pairs ends nine three. So I suspect in a month maybe there'll be something new. And is there anything else to do? Let's just check the rates. All right, seven percent. We have ten tries. So I feel like we have pretty good odds. And um, yeah, so what we're going for? I wouldn't mind that dust clops. I obviously, any five star is good. But I prioritize dust clops, houndoom, and. Gengar. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, yes, the weird phone thing. It's been a while since we did this. And boom. I do think they could work on the animations, kind of like 
the post games kind of give some kind of indicator of what rarity you get. And ooh, ooh, maybe that's it. Soul Rock, okay. So I think when you get to past level five, you get these uh, things that can up the potential. Ooh, a turtle. I prefer Tortuga by like a large margin. <laughs> Just if you've seen any of the Unified Minds openings, but uh, hey, we'll take them. Try him out for sure. All right, Soul Rock level three. Zinc move level up. I feel like it's kind of arbitrary that like it levels up the Zinc move and then after you fully max out the Zinc move, then you can up potential, but I guess that's, oh my gosh. All right, we did get a five star. We got Trico. Um, pretty cool. Does Trico evolve for some reason? Why do I think that he doesn't actually evolve? But, uh, all right. Ooh, Arcanine. I do like the idea of you trying Arcanine. Another fire type. What is this? Uh, yeah, that guy. Cranidos to level two. Gardenia. Nice. Roserade. I think she's actually supposed to be pretty good too as well. Metatite. Ooh, a comment. Um, someone commented that Metatite's actually really good. So now we can kind of validate that and see what kind of um, synergy he brings to our team. LT Surge or the Volt. Yeah, Voltor never that exciting I feel like he's all about just self distracting more than anything else so we did get a five star we got our Trico and uh, yeah we'll try him out see all right he's a like he's all about DPS and you maximum three hmm, interesting all right so it seems like he's kind of like a special attack base or maybe like a hybrid but uh, all right, so another successful poll. We did get another five star, and um, yeah, look forward to a lot of new videos where we kind of look at these different characters and what they bring. And uh, probably the first thing to hit is obviously that Trico five star. So stay tuned for more content, guys. Oh, another successful poll. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.